Hey, college basketball fan, what better way to spend your next Thanksgiving holiday than in beautiful Southern California? Don't miss out on the beaches, sunshine, 75-degree weather in November, Disneyland, and the 5th Annual 76 Classic featuring Boston College, Oklahoma, New Mexico, St. Louis, Santa Clara, UC Riverside, Villanova, and Washington State, all at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California. Log on to 76classic.com today. Okay, right there, he's throwing a back shoulder to you, right? I took over in 1986 as the head coach. There's a lot of history here at this school. You know, a lot of great football, a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches. You know, I'm just really honored to be here so long and, and have the longevity. And, you know, I have a lot of staff that's been with me for a while. A lot of our coaches played here. So I think that helps. You know, we've won leagues seven of the last 10 years. Uh, we've done real well the last really 11, 12 years. We've been pretty consistently uh, playing for the league championship uh, at the end of the year. And again, getting the CF finals three times. Not too many teams really in Orange County in Division One have been in the finals three times. Uh, there's a lot of parity in our league this year. The Los Al is the favorite, but I think we're right there. And really, you know, Huntington, Fall Valley, and Newport are, are are going to be in the hunt too. I mean, I'm sure they all feel like they can win it too. So we need to play well, win or lose, and get better at all phases of the game. And then, and then I think we got a chance to win our league. I was proud of our effort against Servite, and you know we didn't quit. We didn't execute well enough to beat a, a quality team like that. Um, I feel like we're definitely a better team than a year ago. Uh, we have a lot of guys that played last year. I think we have all the talent in the world, um, but we all have to do our assignments. We all have to execute. You know, it's the bottom line. Modern Day is a very good team. I mean, they're uh, well coached, a lot of good players. They've played three really good teams and barely lost. And I know that they are itching and hungry and dying for a win. And so we're going to have to match them with intensity and being physical and execute the game plan. You know, last year was obviously wasn't our best game. And, um, you know, this year we're looking to redeem ourselves. Chase is really fired up. He's more fired up than I am right now. For me, it's just another game, but for him, he wants, he wants to be his old team. He still hasn't beaten him yet. You know, modern day's got kids that live right by Edison. There's, there's kids that they all know each other, they played up together. Um, so yeah, it makes it a little, I'm sure modern day's talking about Cedric Hill and Chase Favre all week long. Uh, we've been talking uh, this whole week and we're all ready. I, I just treat it as just playing against friends, like backyard football, and it's going to be intense and a big game for me. We know we have our hands full. I'm sure Monterey's going to play the best game of the year, and uh, we have to play our best game of the year if we're going to win. I'm ready. I can't wait. The little things all add up for big games. Okay, the little things. Okay, it's who blocks better. Okay, who tackles better. Okay, back to when you were the first time you ever played blocking and tackling, fundamental football. Hey, I'm proud of you guys. I love you guys. I have a good feeling about tonight. It's a whole game. So get your heads up, quit pouting, quit sulking, quit worrying about what you did already because it's over. How about get excited and then we'll do something good.
kicked our butt in the first half, and we made a great comeback, and and uh, did a lot of great things. They made the plays, give credit to them. It came down to one play and they made it, we didn't. And, uh, and the last play, I've never lost the last play of the game, so. I'm proud of our kids for coming back. Uh, it's a tough loss for us, but uh, just gotta move on. We can, you know, we gotta learn from it and move on. And, you know, we got Low Sal next.